I managed to get all the pins made and all the bulb waste fastened on properly now. Unfortunately I've damaged that gasket, I'll have to make a new one. Now we need to make that part. I've got some cast iron bought to make a new one. What I'm going to do before I make that is measure this shaft so I can make a dummy shaft that size so that when I make this and I bore that hole out I know I've got something to use as a reference. So we need to know what size this shaft is. And it is 17.37 millimeters. It is 17.37. When you're trying to turn to a, an accurate size on a lathe like this, you are limited to the graduations on the hand wheels really. The DRO is not working at the minute, so I'm going to have to machine this by hand or at least operate the scales the way they were designed to be operated. If I turn this cross side in, one division that moves 0 0.02 of a millimetre that's quite coarse so what I've done I've set the compound angle up so if I move this in five divisions on here it only moves that one division which is 0.01 of a millimetre so I can in actual fact made this into a real fine feed that's another 0 0.01 and I'm moving this five divisions so I can move this one and have 0 0.005 I think that's right anyway it is a real fine feed so the compound slide is not just for machining angles or machining threads at a certain angle you can use it to give you a real fine feed I've got a piece of 25mm bar in here that's quite strong and use it a little bit to feel out strapped in so the machine is nice Get this down to 18mm and then we'll start to clear with a tiny feed and see if we can get the size absolutely spot on. Okay, it's actually 22 now, so if I take 2 mil per side, that should take it down. 18. We do one mil put one out there. Tremendous hoodie. We we'll take two mil put that. Right, so that's two mil per side, which will take four mil off the shaft. So we're going to watch out for heat build up. I'll have to let this cool down before we do our final cuts. Right, so it's at 18.16 now. Right, we want 0 0.27 off this shot to bring it down to dead on size. So I can dial in the 0 0.1, which is going to take 0 0.2 of it. So that's taking 0.2 of it off there. We'll measure it again just to make sure. So 
right, we're now down to 17. Point five seven five. This crutch has put the shaft on seventeen point five. Okay, so it's dead on seventeen point five. Start playing with the, the vernier feed on the compound slide. Right, I've turned that in ten divisions. You can see it's taking a very, very light pull indeed where it is cutting. Seventeen point five. 17.46 so that's taking 400 to a mill off getting tired of think now right we want zero one zero nine which is an impossible thing to get on on the cross slide but on the compound slide it is possible It is taking a cut, very, very late, but it is taking a cut. We're now at 17.43. How accurate this actually is, and if you can take off. Seventeen point three nine now. Dead on 17.37. Fanny's here, I mean, I'm talking about a fanny's here, over, but basically that's 17.37.
737 737 so that is exactly the size you'll want we'll put a little on that in The Vernia gives me that 17.35, 17 17.36. 17 it's dead on 17.37. It could be any size, but it's the same size as the shaft across there. That's the angle. I've got the compound side slit at round about five degrees. And I just did it by trial and error. I'll probably do a little video go through this again just showing how accurate you actually can get using the compound sliders of fine feed. 